Hi, and welcome to Histories of Last. For all its trials and tribulations, 2020 gave us one of the best fall foliage seasons in recent memory in Pennsylvania. And what better place to experience that than watching trains on the famous Horseshoe Curve? During our last camping trip of the season, we made a brief stop late on Halloween afternoon, which was a Saturday, so we were guaranteed to see some action. Coming from the west, we exited US Highway 22 at the exit for the town of Gallitzin and the Allegheny Portage Railroad National Historic Site, turning north on Pennsylvania Highway 53 for about three miles, then right onto State Route 1034, the Veterans Memorial Highway, for a nice drive down through the forest to the curve. Now this road was built between the highway and the town of Altoona in the 1930s to give automobile access to the sightseeing park in the middle of the curve, which has been a tourist destination literally since it was opened in 1854. Built by the Pennsylvania Railroad, the original engineering work was done completely by hand, pick and shovel, and it carried two tracks. The Pensy widened it to four tracks early in the 1900s, strategically important through every war fought by the United States since the Civil War. The curve was targeted, unsuccessfully, by a team of saboteurs from Nazi Germany during World War II. In recent years, one of those four tracks has been removed and it now only carries three tracks, but it's still a very busy place. The Park and Visitor Center at the curve have been part of the Altoona Railroaders Memorial Museum group of railroad historic sites since the 1990s. I'll put a link to the museum's website in the description below, and you should check it for opening hours. After more than a century under the PRR, Penn Central, the ill-fated merger of the Pensy and the New York Central systems in 1968, operated the curve until its bankruptcy led to the creation by the U.S. Congress of the Consolidated Rail Corporation, or Conrail, in 1976. Since 1999, Norfolk Southern, a component of which was once controlled by the Pensy Island, owns the Horseshoe Curve. As expected, the curve was busy this day, with traffic flowing while we were there from west to east. One train came down the mountain as we were paying our admission in the visitor center, and another followed within minutes. Here it comes now. This was a very long train. I was surprised to see a mid-train helper remote control in the middle of the train. Look how this train wraps all the way around the valley. As I said, this is a long train. And you can really see how it, the elevation changes around the curve.
that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video and will take time to view some of our other ones. Thanks for watching. Please click the thumbs up icon to like the video and share with your friends via email or social media. I'd love to have you subscribe and if you do, please click the little bell icon so you'll get notifications whenever I post a new video. Goodbye!